Operation Sandman is going on to the next stage, which is big news today. You have been warned by the BRICS Plus Alliance that the West reign of terror is over. The president of Zimbabwe stated this at the International Economic Forum in Russia, which we can hear. Pay close attention. That the worst of humanity is still pursuing hegemonic tendencies that clearly violate the sovereign equality of countries. Fairness and justice is spelled out in the UN Charter. Most people agree that unipolarity doesn't belong in today's world politics. This is a very important matter. There is a threat to the world's global forces. There is a change going on right now, and the USA will be shocked when the BRICS Plus system starts up. The US media doesn't care about what's going on at all. The Sandman operation will now be in charge. And the breaking news keeps coming. Putin says that BRICS is working on its own payment system. You won't want to miss this. BRICS is working on making a payment system that is not affected by politics, abuse, or punishments from outside the company. To bring this up again, I'd like to tell you that this year, Saudi Arabia, Iran, the United Arab Emirates, um, Egypt, and Ethiopia all joined BRICS. Because of this, our group's part of the world's GDP has reached 36%, and the world's population has reached 45%. Additionally, BRICS has a huge opportunity for new members to join. This effort by partners from a wide range of fields is something we fully support. Testing XRP has gone well for the Bank of Russia's worried burst. This is an open source platform called the XRP Ledger. It can join to other blockchains such as the new BRICS Plus system. This announcement is bad news for the USA and the rest of the Western world, but it doesn't hurt XRP at all. In fact, it's good news for XRP. And as Russia and confirms the new DRIX payment method, XRP is now getting a lot of attention. The piece is from CoenGebby.com, which you can read here. The Bank of Russia started a project to make it easier to send money across borders. The Ripple payment system was said to have been considered for this project, and it was seen as a great way to start building a system for the group to use for cross-border payments. The price of XRP could go through the roof after this move to accept the cryptocurrency. Robert Doyle, CEO and founder of Cryptonair, and also known as CryptoSensei, thinks that it could hit $10,000 if a lot of BRICS countries use it. Most people think that BRICS countries will benefit greatly from using XRP instead of the US dollar. A rising list of partnerships between Ripple and well-known banks is also seen as an advantage that the BRICS countries could use. That's all there is to it. The fact that Pusta announced the new BRICS plus payment system proves that there will be no more the dollar or quick. It was obvious that this would happen operations Salmon would start in full after Saudi Arabia joined the alliance. It was the main thing that helped them. Get away from the petrodollar. It will be digital currencies, not USD, that sell oil and gas. When Saudi Arabia joined the BRICS Plus group, plans were made to trade in local currencies, which we can see here from Chad. The world's trade in oil without USD is the most important part of this. USD will no longer be used between them. From these XRP drops, we can see that tomorrow, June 9th, 2024, will be a very important day in the world of trade because Saudi Arabia will end the petrodollar deal after 50 years. The choice not to renew this pact was made because Saudi Arabia recently asked to join the BRICS group and is moving toward using the dollar as its currency that the US dollar will keep getting weaker, that the BRICS countries will keep getting stronger, and that the desolarization process will keep going. This will help XRP's reputation because 95% of Ripple's business is already done outside of the US. They may be a US industry, but they stopped using Ripple a long time ago because of Gary Geller and US policies. Ripple had been growing outside of the US even before they joined. And they work with the BRICS countries on many projects. From Chad, we can see it. First, XRP is fully legal and controlled in Dubai, which is a new member of BRICS. Neom also has a direct link to PayNow's real-time settlement systems that use virtual IDs and QR codes. Neom is a big report payment partner that uses XRP for transfers through PayNow, which then links to all the other settlement systems below, including those in the BRICS nations. They made a big mistake by avoiding crypto and Ripple. In this interview with Perianne and Congressman Willie Nicol, they try to make things right by talking about the U.S.'s plans for the future of crypto policies and how that will affect innovation in the U.S. Pay close attention. What do you think about the competitiveness of the United States and its digital asset base? How can we keep the industry going and keep creators in the country for the good of all? For me, the most important thing is how strong the digital dollar is now and in the future. The dollar is the world's main currency, and our financial markets are the best in the world. In the future, we need to keep our attention on the digital dollar if we want to keep that high status. By the way, I just got back from traveling around the world with Patrick Henrik and other members of a bipartisan congressional group. That's why we went to Adobe, Singapore, and Tokyo to see how other places are dealing with this problem. Because they are inspired, they want to help this business in Web3. And if we don't, they'll eat that lunch. It's really simple to bring a laptop and work while sitting down. 
I believe our market is very big. People want to stay active in space in the US. This is good news for America, but I think it may be too late. It looks like some Congress people are finally paying attention. There is no official rule that makes the USD the world reserve currency. In this interview with Tucker Carlson, Congressman Thomas Macy confirms this, saying that the world will stop using the USD as the global reserve currency because, ironically, every time the US sanctions a country, they accidentally hurt themselves by, for example, seizing all of Russia's sovereign assets, most of which are, ironically, US government debt. What's worse is that this sends a scary message to other countries that if they don't listen to America, the same thing will happen to them. So Operation Sandman is speeding up the process of digitization. It's also becoming more popular, and some people think that XRP could hit $10,000 if the BRICS countries work together. This is just a dream, but the BRICS Nations Alliance does not have enough money to make it come true. Right now, President Putin said that many of the over 40 countries that have applied to join the BRICS Nations will do so. This year, at the next BRICS summit in 2024, the meeting and agreement will take place. In other words, the alliance is about to get a lot bigger, stronger, more influential, and more powerful. At least 30 countries want to join the BRICS group, which we already know about, Afghanistan and Algeria, but not Argentina because they've already said they won't be joining. There are, however, countries like Bahrain, Bangladesh, Belarus, Egypt, Indonesia, Iran, Kazakhstan, and many more. You get the idea that a lot of countries want to join this friendship group. It's important to follow the money. The money is telling you that the dollar is going down in value. BRICS is getting stronger and XRP is getting stronger along with it. Think about the long term, not the short term. I'll see you in the next one.